Hey everyone, I did want to do a quick video about how to create followers, um, you know, the ability to follow users and unfollow users. Uh, and it can get kind of confusing, so hopefully I won't mess this up. I um, uh, hope you guys can follow along. I'll try to make it as, as easy as possible. Um, I've got, so to bring you up to speed, on my home screen here, you can just ignore the search, but on my home screen here, I've got a list of users. Uh, this is their cover photo. This is their username, their full name. And then this is just an icon here that allows you, well, we're going to add the functionality to uh, add this person, uh, to follow this person via this button. Um, and then if you tap on this, uh, I have it set up so that if you tap on anything in the list, it will take you to a profile screen for that user. Um, and on that profile screen, we've got a, a profile photo, a cover photo, some, you know, maybe an about section or something like that, and then a follow button. Um, and we'll look at how to make a, a toggle, essentially, for that follow button. Um, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to my users collection. And what's unique about this and gets kind of confusing is that we're going to create basically a relationship to itself. Um, so I'm going to add a property here, relationship to users. And this is a many-to-many -many relationship because, you know, followers and following can have, you can have multiples of those. And so that it doesn't get confusing, I'm going to rename this uh, followers. I'll click Save here. And I'm going to add another property that's also a relationship to users that's a many-to-many. -many. And I'm going to name this one following. Okay. And um, this is uh, very important. We don't want to create two collections, just properties under users. So now in this list, what I'm going to do is add um, actions to this sidebar so that people can just click and add, you know, just follow that person from the list. So under this right section here, which is this add icon that I have right here, I'm going to add an action. Um, and we're going to add two actions. Both of them are going to be update, except we're going to update two different things at the same time. So for the current user, which is the person that's in this list, we're going to update that current user's uh, followers to show that if the logged in user presses this button, um, that the logged in user now becomes a follower of this person. So we're going to update the current user. We're going to update their followers to include the logged in user. Okay, so that's updating this person. Now we're going to update the logged in user to, to say, uh, update the logged in user. And we're going to update who they are following, which would be this person. So we're going to update the logged in users, who they are following. We're going to add the current user. And that's all you have to do. Um, you can apply this logic to buttons, like we'll do over here in just a second. Um, and then you would, uh, obviously, to remove them, you would just apply the reverse of that. So instead of adding, you would just click Remove there. And we can look at that um, in just a second. Okay. So um, actually, I think I just uh, messed that up. Nope, we're good. Um, okay, so we've got that. Uh, and I have it set so that when somebody taps on this, it will send them to a profile screen. Let's add an unfollow button here. So I'm just going to press and hold Alt and click and drag on this button to kind of duplicate it. And I'm going to put it um, right below this so that it will occupy the same spot when this one's not visible. And maybe I want to call this one instead of follow. Let's call it unfollow. And let's change this to maybe a remove symbol. And so let's make it look a little bit different. We'll make it an outline button instead. OK, um, so now let's create the exact same actions that we did over here for these. So when somebody visits this, I want them to, and they tap on the follow button, we're going to add an update action that updates the current user um, to show that they have a new follower called the logged in user. And the next one, we're going to update the logged in user to show that they are now following the current user. Okay, so that's that. And now for the unfollow button, we're just going to do the reverse of that. So we're going to update the current user to show that they now that their followers now does not include the logged in user. 
and we're going to also update the logged in user to show that who they are following does not include the current user. Okay, a little bit confusing there. Um, the second part to this is the visibility of these two things. So for the follow, I only want it to show the follow button if, um, so we're going to set it to sometimes visible, I only want it to show the follow button if the current user's followers, okay, all, uh, does not contain the logged in user, okay. Um, so we'll click done there, and then for this, for the unfollow button, I want to make it sometimes visible, so that it will only be visible if the current user's followers contains the logged in user. Um, and we'll you'll see kind of how that works in just a second when we preview it. But um, so we'll click done there. So if we want to add visi you know, change the visibility of this to where uh, only the people who are not me are visible here, because I, I can't follow myself. I want to be able to, you know, only see the people that I can follow. Um, so we're going to leave it on users, all users. But I want to filter this list such that the email of the of the user uh, is not equal to my own email. So I only want to see the ones where their email is not equal to me. Okay. Um, so let's give this a shot. Let's preview this. And I'm just, I've already got an account here. So I'm going to log in using my credentials, which are dude at gmail.com. And the password is dude. So now you can see that there's another user there who is not me, named Manly Man. Uh, <laughs> And we're gonna we can follow him via this button. We won't get very much feedback from that because we didn't actually uh, link it to anything or you know change the icon. But if I click on him here, you can see that because I don't already follow him uh, and I'm not included in his followers list, this is the button that appears. Now if I click on this, you'll see that now the unfollow button appears because now I'm included in his followers list. Um, so there's lots of functionality that you could build in here. Uh, this is really a pretty useful way to, you know, let your users follow and unfollow other people. Um, it's kind of confusing and it takes a, a little bit to kind of get it working. There's lots of components to it, but once you have the database and those, uh, you know, the back end of that setup, you can use this in many different ways. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you. And as always, if you got any questions, I'll, I'll do my best to help as best I can.